Hi, my name is Judy Rush and I am a fiber artist. I'm going to be showing you some of the techniques that I use to create some of the work that I do. So today I'm going to show you a little bit about how I dye and I'm going to show you how I do some painting. I've mixed up some red dye. Now I'm going to take my folded piece of fabric, put it in my bucket, and then pour the dye over top of it. Now I don't need this much dye, but I just want to make sure it gets nice and saturated. And you can see there's still some resist on the end. And I'll just let this sit for about four hours. This is a photo emulsion silk screen. I squeegee the uh, a, a emulsion, let the emulsion dry on the screen. And then I expose the screen to light with the image on top of it. When I wash it out, I get the uh, the image that I that I'm after. And then I just pour, I pull the paint through the screen. And there we have an image. Another technique I use is block printing. I carve it out of a block printing material. And then I'll take my fabric paint, put it on a palette, get a nice even coat of paint. Voila! Let's see what kind of pattern we can make with this. I really like block printing. I like the different uh, textures you get from the surface. You get these striped things going on. I like repeats too. I don't know. Maybe a These are some examples of some of the techniques I'm using. These are just samples. This one is stamping with fruit, apples, and oranges. There's just some stamping with sponges. This is a stamp that I made. This is a silk screen. And this one is using wax as a resist and then dyeing over top of it and then taking out the wax. You can see the stamp we just stamped there. This one uses Elmer's glue for the resist. You can see this part right here was stamped with Elmer's glue. Then I dyed it, I washed it, and that part was left lighter. This one is using a flour paste as a resist. I mix flour and water, paint it onto the surface, let it dry, let it crackle. I paint on top of the paste, let that paint dry, and then I wash out the paste and the excess paint and this is what I'm left with. And here it is, the grand finale, the piece of fabric that we dyed earlier. I love it. Thank you for visiting my studio and thank you to Best American Arts.